Hello everybody, my name is Blee and today we have a bit of a different video. Today will be a bit of a tutorial on how to play, right, this is a lot, Persona 4 Arena Ultimax 2.0 Arcade Edition on your PC with friends via Parsec while also using controllers or game pads. Now the reason I'm doing this is because there, uh, as far as I know, there is no way to play version 2.0 on console. Uh, it, it was mostly arcade only, which is Japan only. And this is a method that allows you to play with your friends uh, via Parset, which is a streaming slash screen sharing service that you can use with your friends in order to play games locally uh, with them, with uh, usually low latency, uh, depending on your internet connection. And it's just really nice. Uh, it definitely takes a bit of a setup. As a matter of fact, the reason I'm making this video is because it took my friend and I almost a whole day and a half to set it up. Uh, set up our controllers. That might be because we're just dumb. Uh, honestly, uh, maybe it was a lot more simple than we made it out to be. However, it did take a very long time. And I just don't want anybody else who would be interested in doing something like this to have to spend all that time uh, trying to work with this and possibly just wasting time. So that's why I wanted to make this short tutorial. So regardless, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So first thing that you need is Joy 2 Key. Now, if you use a stick with a uh, PC switch, which I experienced with another friend, you can just go straight into, uh, you just go straight into the game that comes with the files. It has a config option. And if you have a stick with a PC switch, you can just go straight in and set your buttons and you'll be fine. Uh, you will not need to mess with Joy to Key at all. You'll just be good to go if your if your stick has a PC switch, um, as far as I know anyway. However, if it doesn't have a PC switch or if you're using a gamepad, you will have to use Joy to Key. Um, Joy to Key is a shareware. Uh, you know, support a developer if you can, but um, you can use it more or less for free. Now this is uh, this is where the sort of hard part comes in not hard part this is the part that can just take a very long time so when you have your controller set up um, ignore joystick too that's just my friend's joystick that we played that he used to set up on a uh, parsec uh, for joystick one the buttons that you see right here these aren't these do not correspond with the buttons that you will see in the actual config like even though it says button one right here they are not the same they are not the same so what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to first you want to set your buttons here, whatever keys you want. Uh, you see, I use keys one, two, three, four, five, six. I just thought that was a pretty simple, easy key layout. But you can really use whatever you want. And an easy way to do this, an easy way to do this is to an easy way to do this is to start the end. If an error comes up, you really usually just have to start it again. Um, if you get keep getting errors, you have to start the crypt server first before you start it. All right. So an easy way to do it is to minimize the window, make it smaller until you can have both the game and a joy to key about side by side. Uh, make sure you whatever button you have set to start uh, I have just entered and set it to start it <clears throat> you want to go in here uh, pick whatever character uh, I want to learn Ken so I'm using Ken go into your train mode And fine, and then what you're gonna do, you're gonna uh, open, well, not open, but uh, have the Joy to Key set as like the primary window and start pressing buttons so you can see which button is which on Joy to Key. Like you can see, I'm pressing button four, which is my triangle button on my um, PS4 controller, my DualShock 4, um, which I have set to my light, which you would expect is button one. Um, would be button one, but it's not. It's button four on here. The button four on here, but in the config I have uh, for the game and the files is button one. 
which is light. So it definitely can be very confusing, but this is a very this is a this is a pretty easy way you can find out what buttons are which by um just going into training mode and pressing your buttons and then setting them accordingly to what you want them to do. Um, you can set you can set your uh, analog stick. I personally use analog because I'm a filthy casual. Uh, I have a gamepad set up, or the D-pad set up as well. Uh, this way with Joy to Key, you usually wouldn't be able to use macros with this um, with just your stick. Or at least I think you probably still you probably would still have to use um, Joy to Key here. With, with Joy to Key, you can set macros. Like you see here, I have these uh, my uh, two triggers set with macros so I can burst easily with just two buttons and I can do DP with one button with a one button DP so it's really nice uh, it definitely might take some time though uh, I recommend that you screenshot your control setup whenever you get it set up because um, <clears throat> I don't know my experience with Joy the Key is that sometimes it didn't did not save what I had even after I hit save Sometimes it just would not save it regardless. So you'll definitely want to screenshot it, uh, you and your friends, because what happens is it's going to be running off of your keyboard. So whatever you have set up, whatever you have set up in here, in this, in this window right here, is what it's going to be running off of. So you're going to have to make sure that your friend doesn't overlap with your keys. And you'll have to make sure that, um, that their keys that their input setup that they have will um, will work with uh, whatever keys you have set up on your keyboard. So it's not like what they have set up on their PC with their keyboard and their controller will work on yours. You'll still have to uh, sort of just comply with whatever you have set up on your keyboard. But it works fine. Um, as you can see, uh, my friend came in a bit earlier and he set up his stuff. He just had his D-pad and his buttons. He didn't set up any macros um, like I did. But he worked just fine. I have a little bit of pre-recorded footage here. <coughs> uh, I have a little pre-recorded footage of, what, of how it worked out. And as you can see, it worked just fine. We're just in the game playing. Uh, you will have to make sure that your friend has their joint key closed because if what if their joint key is open, what happens is that their or their inputs or their keys will overlap with yours, and they will move you um, as they move themselves. <clears throat> so yeah, you definitely don't want that. So make sure that your friend has their joint key closed. Now, in order for them to set their inputs, you will have to go into Parsec. You have to go into parts that you have to give them the keyboard function and the mouse function, or you can, you know, make them tell you uh, what keys they want and uh, what buttons they want to have to uh, set keys. Uh, but uh, it would be easier to just let them do it. Um, I don't know some people just might be a bit too cautious about what they let their um, people on Parsec do, but it's just fine. So once they set their stuff up, um, it, it should just work. Uh, it took us a long time to set this up, but it should work just fine. Um, as you can see, uh, I would recommend that you don't play this game uh, full screen because it breaks when you alt tab, or at least on my system anyway. Um, you can also go into the config or test mode as if it was in the arcade, and you can <coughs> set up some stuff, set up like uh, you know whatever you want. For your for your matches, for your in-game time, for your training mode. Fortunately, you can't seem to pick music. It's uh, just auto, which is whatever character, whatever the first character is that you picked, it will play their theme as you play. Uh, it's a bit unfortunate, but that's uh, you know that's kind of how arcades go. Now, when you do get done with this, uh, when you hit reset, it will actually close the game, so you will have to restart the game. But it does save the configuration that you have here. So uh, next time you restart the game, it will start with those config settings that you had set up. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. I hope I'm not. Uh, yeah, it, it works. Um, this might not be the most conventional way, but this seems to be the best way to play it on PC with your friends. 
Um, it does take a little bit of setup, but I think it's worth it. You can definitely play the game just fine, especially if your host on Parsec has good internet. The latency should be very uh, smooth, and it could possibly be even smoother than on the PS3 net play that they have uh, on there. So it could definitely end up being better if you're willing to put the, the effort into it. Uh, and yeah, I uh, hope this helps some people out. I know this is a very niche thing. Not many people are going to be wanting to do this, but I know that there's going to be those few people who do, and it's just, and it might end up just driving them crazy. And uh, I, I hope this video helps them out. So thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day.